Hey, good Thursday morning to you guys. John Bergsma here, Fisherman's Digest. You know, we're gonna take you and bounce you around the state of Michigan. Uh, I don't wanna concentrate on just one area because there's a good handful of different bites that are going on right now other than the king salmon bite that are really, really worth talking about. And so we're gonna touch on them briefly at each one. Uh, you know, if you're familiar with these bodies of waters, you might wanna hook up your boat. Last week of summer here before we get into September, weather looks great and it's worth your time. So we're gonna start out our tour and I've got my little notepad with the Northeast Lower. And when I say the Northeast Lower, I'm talking about, you know, Mackinac City, Sheboygan, all the way to Alpena. Really, really great fishing going on right now. So let's start with Mac City. Uh, Mac City, they've got a really good lake trout bite going on the east side of Boys Blank Island. So you've got two major points on the east side. About halfway down the island on the east side, you've got Lighthouse Point. That's a very, very prolific point. Holds a lot of bait, holds a lot of fish. Guys catching a lot of um, migrating pinks and lakers. Now the pinks are just getting there as they're running behind right now and Atlantics. Uh, so you're gonna start seeing more and more in your bags, but the lakers have been solid at Lighthouse. At the south side of the island, right at the tip there, there's Lafayette Point. Now Lafayette Point, like Lighthouse, is a very major structure. I filmed a show there just last week, banged them good. It was a very good show, very fun time. Lots of good quality fish, and again, Going forward, you're gonna see a mix of Atlantics and pinks coming through there as well as they're on their way up to detour and to move up to St. Mary's River. So that's gonna be a really good spot. Now, another great spot is Mullet Lake. Now, if you get a room in Sheboygan or you get a cottage on the water, you know, Mullet Lake has been firing for the last three weeks now. I've talked about it twice. Um, I keep getting reports that guys are getting consistent fish in the deeper waters trolling slow uh, slow death rigs, I like to use the Walleye Nation Creation uh, slow death rig with a little styrofoam floaty in front of it, not the blade, just a little floaty in front of it. That seems to be the one that's working really good. I like it in chartreuse and orange and chartreuse and green. Those are the two colors that have been biting good. Uh, my buddy Brian Bice from To Be Caught Charters is chartering up there right now. You can give him a call if you want to get out on the lake and learn that bite. But it's a deep live bait trolling presentation. You can also troll crankbaits over the humps out in front of Aloha State Park. That's really good. So, St. Ignis. St. Ignis isn't some place you usually, you know, associate with king salmon. But guys, if you're a king salmon aficionado, uh, St. Ignis... Uh, to the east, up the shoreline, has got a place called St. Martin's Bay. St. Martin's Bay has got a good channel into a weir. They have a really good migration of king salmon every year there. If you're looking for a new spot to try king salmon fishing, St. Ignis and St. Martin's Bay might be a spot for you to, to really hone your skills. Um, like we talked about Mackinac City, Alpena, my buddy Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket Charters got a few openings here in September. That is not normal for Steve. Uh, normally he's double booked all the way until he pulls the plug on the season. Got a few openings. I think he left them open to be honest because so he could rest. But he said, you know, he's willing to take guys fishing. He's getting a great mix bag right now. With random Kings, nice steelhead, random walleyes along with his Lakers. Really super good mix bag going on out of Alpena and Presque Isle. That's where Steve's fishing right now. And then we're going to go to Cadillac. I just was there a week or so ago doing a casting show throwing some Strike King 375s uh, in the white color, it's called Ice, uh, working a drop edge, just trying to do a multi-species show and doggone it if we didn't catch both walleye and largemouth bass during that show. Multiple walleyes and largemouth bass, really good show you'll see it next spring. Uh, but boy, if you're a caster, um, <clears throat> now is the time of weeds year because you've got these defined weed edges going on and you can really set up with your electronics to be able to long cast those weed edges and work those fish good. Last spot we're going to talk about is Houghton Lake. Houghton Lake's got a good mixed bag fishing going on of some random walleye, some nice northern pike, and some nice bluegill and crappie. If you're out working those big weed beds at Houghton Lake, uh, just, just pay attention to your electronics, find the edges, and uh, get out there and have a good time. There's a ton of inland lake fishing going on right now throughout the state. It's not just on the big lakes. So we'll see you tomorrow morning for another teaser for this weekend's show.
Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. So hey, I love talking about all the great inland lake fishing we got. We've got a great show coming to you tomorrow. So uh, Friday morning, make sure you tune in at your office or at your desk or on your phone and see what we got for you this weekend on Fisherman's Digest. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macasta and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now.